Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So, about a month ago I did a video, what's in my camera bag for 2023? And you know what? I, I made the video, I was like, done. That video's done. But ho ho, ho ho, no it's not. Because here's the thing, my camera bag changes from every different shoot you know it, it it changes if i'm if i'm filming a video for youtube or a client or if i'm going out to on a photo shoot or if i'm just carrying around a camera with me when i go on a family trip my camera bag changes a lot because i need to bring different equipment you know i don't want to bring you know when i'm on a family shoot i don't ah, i don't particularly need the 300 mil it's just not practical, although I have done and it's definitely not practical. But anyway, so my bag, my camera bag has gone through a vast change. So as an example, here is my Low Pro Pro Tactic BP450 AW2. And I picked this up about, about a year ago, actually, roughly. And it served me well. It does everything that I need. It's a big bag. It can carry a lot of big stuff. It's got all this, you know, this, this tactical molly webbing on it that you can attach stuff to. It's got lots of different, you know, side pockets here. And, you know, you can access your camera here at the top like that. Or you can just go in the main back entrance. And that was one of the things I really liked. The fact that you didn't have to, you know, thieves couldn't steal your stuff from here. But you could still access it from this side. But it was harder for thieves to access. So. And that's all well and good. And on certain shoots, yes, this bag is still going to be used. The Pro Tactic. But for my YouTube stuff and my new current job, I'm gonna be retiring it. Which is sad because I really do like this bag. It's, it's, it's really good for the price. I mean, you've even got here at the bottom, you've got a little handle here at the bottom so you can kind of carry it like that if you need to. And then if you look just further on at the bottom here, you've got this. Ugh been a while since this has been out this is a weather cover so you can just pull it out and cover your backpack and protect it from the rain now I'm sure the actual bag is somewhat weatherproof anyway but having this extra layer of protection there as well is even better and the fact that it's sewn into the bag so you can't lose it I lose stuff every day every day and it's sewn into the bag so you can't ever lose it unless you cut it off but still so the low pro whoops the low pro pro tactic is retired and so is some of the stuff that was in it now one of the reasons that i brought that bag is because i had bigger equipment i was using the 1d and i was ugh, and i was using this the canon c100 Mark one, the first one. It's a really good cine cam. It really is. For 400 pounds, you can pick this thing up. It's got an EF mount, inbuilt ND. It can handle uh, uh, onboard audio really well. It's got a decent-ish screen. It's not the best. Battery life. Battery life is one of my favorite things of this camera. It doesn't run out. I mean, it does, but it basically doesn't run out of battery, no matter basically what you're doing. Although I do wish it had continuous autofocus. It doesn't, it's all manual, which is fine, but it's just annoying. Anyway, next thing. So that is one of the reasons why I had it. Now, the camera that at the time that I was using was this. The Canon EOS RP. Slimline camera. This was a, a, a main camera as well as the 1D Mark IV. That's currently in the retirement cupboard. This isn't going to be in the retirement cupboard. The 1D... Uh, the C100 is, however, this is going to be a B cam. It's going from my main shooting camera to a B cam. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what are you replacing them with? Well, I'm replacing both of them cameras with the R6. 
Now, as I just said, I'm not retiring the RP. No, I'm really not, because there might be a scenario where I need it. But the R6 does basically everything that I need. It shoots perfect. It shoots perfectly good video, and the pictures still look really, really nice. But you're probably thinking, well, you've retired the low pro. You're not using that really anymore. So Alex, what are you, what are you gonna replace that with? Well, because I'm using smaller equipment now, I put a smaller bag and I love it. I've used it once, twice, and I love it. The Billingham Handy Pro, I have no idea. It's amazing. Look how small this is. It's a little messenger bag. I'm definitely doing a review on this, ca on this camera bag. It's really, really nice. It's leathery, it's studded, it's, it smells like, it looks so nice. And it carries everything that I need. And that's the most important thing, is that it carries everything that you need. Now, what is actually in this camera bag? Well, as I've said, the Canon EOS R6. That is the main camera body. Now, I'm going to be carrying around two lenses and I am currently using one of them. The 24 to 105 f4 to 7.1. Now you're probably thinking, well, why are you using that? Like that's, it's not very good. I use it because it's kind of a generic lens. It's, it does everything that I need, basically on the wide end. And then for the telephoto, I'm going to be carrying around this, the Canon EF 70 to 200. I refuse to buy the new RF ones. So these are my lenses. EF for the win. So that's camera bag. Those are my two lenses that I'm carrying. What else is in the camera bag? Well, there's obviously going to be my iPhone. It's just my main normal phone. It's nothing special. It's the 13 Pro Max with one terabyte of storage. Then there is AirPods. I carry these little things, the AirPods Pro, I think these are the second or third gen, whatever's the latest one, because you know, I'm an Apple fan. Glossing over that, yes, AirPods Pros. These are amazing. They really are. They're small. They kind of just can be chucked into your bag. Then, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with these next product because I love how they sound, little hint, and I like how they look and how they feel on my head, but I don't like their size. And that is the AirPods Max. 500 pounds of Apple headphone goodness. And they're good. They really are good headphones. They sound amazing. For the price, I don't really know if they're value, so to speak. If they bring you value, then they're value for money. But if not, then yeah. But I don't know if they're like good value because I just kind of, I tried them, I fell in love with the sound quality, so I kind of just brought them. Yeah. And then this, my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Absolute beast. Now it is actually nearly dying. I think it's on like four, four percent. Oh no, 12%. And also this a stylus because I ditched my iPad. I ditched it, it was too big and too annoying and it now won't take a charge. So that's one of the main reasons. But I picked this up, one terabyte, uh, I think it was, I can't remember how much I paid. About 2000 I think it was, but that's not the point. It's a great phone. I mean, I've not really used it as a hello kind of phone. It's been more of, you know, a tablet. I edit pictures in it, I can edit videos in it. It's a really good phone. It really is, I love it. So, what's next? Well, no, that's it. That's everything. A very small camera bag. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, the other equipment that I have shown you that I said I'm retiring, the reason I say retiring and not getting rid of is because it's going in the cupboard. I have a, what I call a retirement cupboard where camera equipment goes and it sits in the cupboard for long-term storage until I need it next time. 
the C100, I'm still going to be using. I'm going to be charging up its battery because it's on two bars of battery and it will sit for a few weeks. That's about it until I need to make a video of it or until I need it for client work. And the same with the Low Pro. I've got a few gigs coming up that I'm going to be needing the Low Pro camera bag. So my gear changes to what I need, hence the fact as to why I'm making this video. Because it really does depend on the shoot and what I'm doing that day as to what dictates what I bring. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.